Hello everyone and welcome to this puppy cat collab tutorial and this is a collaboration with Alex from Polymomo Tea and he made puppy cat standing up with a really cute helmet so do make sure you check that out I'll be linking it below and also on screen and my version of puppy cat is just on all fours like this so let's begin so first you're just going to start with some white clay and take one ball of this for the head no extra shaping necessary and then take a smaller piece and roll it into a teardrop shape and then pull up the point of the teardrop shape, that's going to be the neck and just squash it back like this and then cut it off and then make a hole in it with the needle tool and now for the colour you're just going to take some peach coloured clay take a small piece like this and roll it into a teardrop shape and then flatten it and then cut this down the middle and I made mine a bit too long so I cut it down a little bit more these are going to be either sides of the collar so you're just going to attach them onto the neck like this and do the same with the other side and now I'm just making a hole to connect the head to the body and inserting a small piece of thin wire with translucent liquid Sculpey into the head and placing some TLS on the bottom as well and then just pressing the body onto the head like this and then make a small indent with the ball tool so use yellow or gold clay to make the bell and just take a small ball of this and press your needle into it like this and roll it slightly side to side and then you can just pull it off and reshape it and now I'm taking a fatter needle tool and making a little round hole like this and then just attach this to the collar and press it on now I'm taking some light brown clay and forming it into a diamond and then just use your ball tool to make an indent in it and I'm using a silicone shaper to enhance this indent and now taking a very small piece of that same peach clay make another very small diamond and then insert this into the indent that you made and press them together like this and then cut off the pointed tips and these are going to be the ears now just make a hole in the top of the head where you're going to attach the eye screw and then you can place the ears on either side of this and attach them down using your needle tool and so far he should look something like this and then take two small pieces of that same brown clay flatten them down and then place these on the head for his eyebrows or markings and you can readjust them until he looks right and then make three similar sized logs of white and brown clay so now for the legs take two of each colour and cut off the ends of the white and also the ends of the brown and then using the middle section of the white, replace the end pieces with the brown ones. Just place them on and roll them together like this. And do the same with the other side. And then cut these pieces in half. And then attach all four pieces onto the body like this. And then use a needle tool to smooth them on. And now for the tail, I'm just going to bend a small piece of wire and then insert this wire on the back where you want the tail to be attached. And then place some TLS on the wire, cut one end piece off the brown, both end pieces off the white, and attach them together like this. Make a hole in the tail like this and then place the whole piece on the wire and blend together. And this is what he looks like. And now the clay part of your puppy cat is done so you can go ahead and bake him for the recommended time on your packet. And this is what mine looks like once it's been baked. So I'm just going to be using some dark brown paint like this. 
So first just make two dots under the eyebrow markings for the eyes. And then a tiny dot and a little upside down V for the mouth. And now this is what he looks like. And he's pretty much done, it's just time for glaze. So pop him on a paper clip. And I'm using Holloway House Quick Shine Floor Polish and an old paintbrush. And then just covering the entire charm with glaze. As this glaze is really watery, I do about five coats to make it really shiny. And then I'm gonna hang him up and when he's dry, you're all done. Bee and Puppycat is one of my favorite shows of all time. It's so beautiful and the art is just gorgeous. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend it. There's not many episodes, but you can watch them all on YouTube and I'll link them below. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out Alex's version of Puppycat as it is absolutely adorable. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!